All right, so today we got a very different video here for you guys. I wanted to do something like this. I did see some sort of inspiration from uh, someone that posted the Kronos like piston bolt uh, tier list like this. So I wanted to do my own, but just for the, all the decorations that we have on AutoCraft, of course. Uh, permanent decorations, that is. There are some things that aren't included in here, like some processing chambers and things like that. I mainly wanted to just focus on the actual full promoter decorations and also include some of them that we actually haven't even built yet on the SMP because those projects are still being worked on currently. So if you did click on this video, you will also get a sneak preview of what some of our upcoming decorations will look like. So yeah, this is everything currently, uh, it's three years in the making that we have officially planned out, whether that be in just the creative SMP server or in fully built in SMP, which you would have seen a video on as well already. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see some things in the future about like the overall projects or maybe some updated decorations as we get more of them, more of them, more of them, because I don't have any plans to stop currently making some of these amazing perimeters that we're going to go through here. Uh, and of course, if you do disagree or agree, let me know down in the comments below. I will also have the link for this actual tier list if you wanted to make your own. There will be a link for you to go on here and use all of these uh, pictures or your own if you wanted to make your own if you disagree with anything that i do here uh so yeah we got all of them right here most of them some of them are their early stages and some of them actually have the farms in it because they're the only picture i can really find obviously for most of them, i'm going to exclude the farm basically the crop farm and the tree farm and the ice one are the main ones that actually have stuff there uh, but the tree one i think for that one kind of adds a lot to that which is why i'm okay with that one the crop farm not so much kind of takes a little bit away from the actual floor there so the first one we're going to start with here is, of course, the very first perimeter that we have on the world that we ever did. This was back, you know, I want to say like episode 12 or something like that. Very, very early on in the world here, we have the double witch farm perimeter. This was, of course, before I realized and experimented with a bit on how overpowered some stack and raid farms are. So uh, I've always seen, the, you know, the side crowd and everybody's seen that stuff where they had the bunch of witch farms and... That's sort of what the farms themselves and, of course, the centralized storage was actually modeled after. Uh, however, you know, I kind of realized now that it's kind of hard to actually see the decorations here uh, in their full potential, especially these ones that take the screenshots so far away. Uh, but as we get to the newer ones, you can definitely see a bit more here of what they actually look like. However, for this witch farm here, I'm going to give it a solid B. Um, it wasn't all too great. You know, it was just a kind of a repeated pattern, which of course we see a lot more nowadays because of the perimeter printers by, you know, Floppy and uh, Ruthro that are out there. We could have actually made this sort of similar design for the floor uh, automatically, which would have, of course, helped out quite a bit in terms of actually making it. I want to say it took me about like 20 hours in total to make the floor and then another like two days or so to make the walls. Uh, you know, it's very simple. However, you know, it's uh, a bit old and the color combination isn't really the best in my opinion. You know, the purple and green kind of goes well to an extent. However, you know, I think the walls are a bit too close together. I think they need to be spread out a little bit more uh, in terms of where each pillar is. You really can't see it in the picture here, but there's like at least like 40 or 50 uh, pillars per the wall. It's a bit too crowded in my opinion. So I think it's a good starting point. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's also not the best. I think even in a solid B is pretty decent there. Uh, this with the skeleton one, despite how most people actually liked it, and of course I did at the time. Looking back on it now, it's really not that good, especially with the randomized concrete powder walls. Uh, I know I wanted to save a lot of time with it, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it a, a, the bottom there. It's it's really not that good. It's just randomized concrete walls with a very simple. Uh, square that got you know lighter and lighter as it got towards the center there to, to fit the with the theme of course however it's really not nothing all too special which is why i think it's not it should be at the very bottom same thing with the slime uh you know anything i see randomized concrete powder walls i'm gonna unfortunately put it at the bottom just because it like just puts a little bit less effort into it because it's nothing all too special and the floor pattern overall isn't all too much either very simple of course there are some other ones we're going to see later here like this this uh hogman one i'm going to give the hogman one a c um 
The reason for that is because the floor makes up so much for the walls. This color combination of the white, red, and orange is a one of my favorite ones. And actually pretty, you know, of course, with the server theme being red, orange, and black, um, I think that goes really well. And I think that's a little bit better than the other two down there, which is why I'm going to put that at a C. Uh, you know, that's when these, of course, all are getting redone very, very soon, which you will see later down the line. We have some more decos. Uh, for those ones, however, I think this one's a little bit better just because of the just the pattern on the floor. I think is a bit better than the other two down there for the slime and the with the skeleton spawn. I'm gonna give that an S. Uh, it may be you know biased for the server and like you know it's about stuff that means a lot to me with the fire heart in the center, which of course is where the whole fire heart thing started. Uh, if you didn't know, this sort of theme that I have for the spawn with the Fireheart and the Phoenix did come from the band Alinium that I am a uh, very fond person of. Uh, they do create some pretty great stuff and you know basically if you're in the streams you probably hear it constantly just because I love their kind of music and what they do there. Um, I was kind of like I wouldn't say it was like the very early days with them but I want to say it was around like 10,000 subscribers on YouTube when I first came across their music and I instantly you know, loved it. So I kind of stuck with them from the beginning and that sort of fire theme was based around one of the songs uh, that they had in that time frame. So that's kind of where the inspiration for the Fireheart and the Phoenix of that spawn sort of came from and which is where the whole Fireheart theme for Autocraft kind of existed as well. Iron farm decoration with the farm uh, inside of it, with all four of the iron farm towers and the shaders on it looks pretty decent however it's going to be at the very bottom for me it's just a bit too simple for me uh the color combination works really well the red black and white and gray fits the iron golem pretty well uh overall though way too simple for it to be anything above the bottom though unfortunately furnace array decoration i i do really like the the Pentagon deco there. So I'm going to give it a C. Uh, overall, if it wasn't for the actual, you know, pattern in the fade effect that the floor kind of had with it, where it's like going for the red, orange, and yellow, I, I definitely wouldn't put it up there. I'd definitely be at the bottom. Uh, I would just, just basically love base it off of. As you notice with the decorations where they have like the custom, uh, you know, whether it be the circle or the Pentagon, we usually tend to do like, you know, uh, black concrete walls. That's the main reason down to that is because it's very difficult to design something uh, for that sort of uh, shape there. Circle we have done previously or very recently where we actually did an actual deco uh, for it. However, back in that time frame, it was just too much and I didn't really know a lot about World Edit. We could do something similar with the Pentagon, I believe nowadays as well with World Edit and all that kind of stuff. However, at the time we really didn't do it, which is why I'm going to give it uh, at the C there. It's still pretty decent. I love the fade in the floor, uh, but overall definitely could be a lot better. The 72K Ice Farm Perimeter. This one's going to be a solid A for me. Uh, overall, the floor turned out absolutely amazing. If you don't know what that floor is, that's actually Marshmallow from, <laughs> of course, at Disney's Frozen, uh, but I think it fit very, very well because it is like an ice golem in a sense. You can call them so it fit in the ice theme worked very very well and of course the walls that were designed by happy uh fit the theme of course very well we also used that very recently you will see later down the line as well um, overall that one looks pretty good obviously kind of a blue bias as well um but that one overall one of the first ones we actually put a lot of effort into in terms of the square shape if you disregard the the which one of course tree farm perimeter gotta be up to the s tier there's no other way about it that tree in the center that happy made for us is the best thing that we've ever made uh, in terms of it being looking like that i mean it looks so realistic and from the other trees that i've seen before uh that tree is my one of my favorite ones i've ever seen before that thing looks absolutely amazing and the fact that it's the center of the perimeter and it's also has the storage for the whole tree farm perimeter inside of it makes it that much better for me uh, overall. So that one's going to be seen at the top for a very long time. I'm actually going to put it above spawn. 
Uh, oh, so this one's going to go above that too, and I would say this goes above uh, these two here. So autocraft perimeter for the main storage. Uh, the walls themselves, I would definitely would say, are very much up there. The floor I don't love all too much nowadays. At the time, it fit very well because, of course, it's the main storage. You're going to be there all the time. Uh, with the main storage over top of it, though, it really doesn't fit all too well. So I'm definitely not going to put it all the way up there. I think it gives it a solid B. I would put it below the witch farm. Not put it above the witch farm just because the walls are much better than the walls for the witch farm. Definitely for sure. Um, but the floor, I don't know all too much about that. I definitely would change it out probably for the, the current AC logo. As you see on the Discord, uh, you definitely know what that one looks like. So yeah, if I would redo that, definitely would get rid of the floor and all of the the characters there instead. Reaper Farm Perimeter, this is one of the first ones where we had, actually the drowned one here was the first ever uh, art that I had commissioned for the server. And if you don't know, most of these floors that I have for like the mobs themselves, they were more than likely commissioned by artists to make for us. And I really do love how this turned out, and it fits, obviously, the theme of most of the hostile mobs, some on the passive, and all that kind of stuff there. Overall, it's a neat uh, take on the decoration that I've seen um, in the Minecraft V4. Probably not the first time you've ever seen it, but I love how I was able to capture the Minecraft character uh, in it, but also add in a much more detail into the background for it, just to make it that extra step above. So for the creeper one, with a little bit of TNT in here and the little Easter egg that we had in this one, I'm going to give it a solid B uh, above the witch, just because of the walls are so much better overall. I think I'm going to actually put it even over top of MS, just because of the extra little bit of details that we had there. We had the hidden uh, April Fool's smiley creeper uh, face hidden in one of that. If you haven't seen that before, uh, definitely go check that out. It was a nice addition that Happy added uh, to that decoration there. Despite what people think, I don't like this one all too much. Uh, even though it was the first one that we ever had made, I definitely think there's a lot better. However, the pixel art that I made in the walls for the Nautilus shell, the trident, and the copper, I love how those turned out, but it's just not enough for me. I think the floor is just lacking a bit compared to some of the other ones that we have in detail. So I'm gonna put it at a C all the way down there. Uh, I think that fits the best there. Double gold, if you can't really tell, it's just one of them just mirrored uh, on the other side. I do like how this turned out. We did originally build this when it had when it was first converted, it converted it with uh, jungle planks in this uh, black concrete area down here. Uh, when I was messing around with it one day after we, of course, we already made it in SMP, I found that the black concrete down there fits a lot better. So with that addition, I definitely put it in an A tier because overall that just looks way better than it did with the uh, jungle planks instead. Uh, if you wanted to see that, check out the video uh, where we actually made this decoration uh, overall. It's not the worst thing in the world with the jungle planks, however, it's just a lot better with the black concrete now that I've seen it with that instead. The Gashed Farm Perimeter. This one's an interesting one. Um, there's a lot of balloons perimeter just because of it being in a soul sand valley. If you, have it, if you ever play with fog off, you really don't know that you have the blue nether fog there. I'm the one that plays with nether fog off, but when I saw that the blue uh, was with the gas it kind of made sense because of all the blue fire when you light the soul sand or soul soil on fire that really does look pretty nice and of course i have a bias towards blue if you couldn't already tell i th think this one's going to be up here in a as well it's not better than gold uh they both have a similar wall uh design with it being the fade from like a light yellow to a dark yellow from a dark blue to a light blue same concept, if you couldn't tell, these were both mainly designed by Happy, uh, just because, you know, Happy was a great decorator when we had him on the server. Uh, fortunately, they did step away from the server by their own decision. I do miss them, so if they were able to come back, definitely would have them back on the server for sure. The crop farm perimeter, definitely got a BS tier. This one turned out really, really well with the melons, the, I believe that's the uh, bamboo on that side. 
the pumpkins and then the sugar cane and then the wheat across the top. This one turned out really, really well. And we have the elemental heart, as I call it, in the floor there. It is one of the best, I would say, uh, fan arts that I've ever been given by Fred. If you didn't know, Fred did, used to do a lot of stuff. And the main reason why the fire heart looks a lot better and the thumbnails, of course, that border there was all made by Fred. So huge thank you to you, Fred. Uh, you've done a lot for the server and I can't thank you enough, man. Uh, you're one of the only people that I've seen actually send fan arts and it's one of the best you know, as a content creator to get those uh, one of the best things ever. So thank you so much, Fred. But yeah, this crop farm, uh, one of my favorite ones where we actually don't use it all too often, unfortunately, just because we really don't need crops too much besides like pumpkins for scaffolding and things like that. Uh, but overall, I love the floor for this one and the fact that we have the larger, the enlarged uh like blocks on the walls is a pretty nice touch there the raid farm perimeter decoration this one was probably the most expensive one just because of all of the different player models here the artist did a very good job of it actually feeling like it's minecraft but also it being a lot more detailed there uh it kind of feels like it looks like you're getting like you know actually raided in the picture there uh, definitely, I would say I would put this at a low A, it, just because um, from in-game it doesn't look all too good, especially the, the tower in the back there for the pillager outpost, um, and the vexes don't look too great in-game, but from the map POV, of course, it looks a lot better. Just unfortunate with that one that it doesn't look too well in-game as well as on the maps. Now, all these pictures here, of course, if I didn't mention this, are just screenshots from in-game. Uh, they do have different map POVs as well, but because we have all the stuff on top of it, I kind of had to go searching for them in the development phase because most of them, of course, have a farm inside of it. So we kind of had to look for early renditions of it before everything was added in SMP. The Lazy Raid Farm and Nether Side Circle. Uh, I, this is the first rendition where we did this, the fade on the circle, and overall, it looks really good. Something about fades on a circle compared to it being on a square looks pretty good. Don't know what it is, but it looks decent there. So I think this is like a low, a low B for me. Um, I would say it's better than the witch farm ever so slightly just because uh, of the fade there. I think that edges over a little bit for that uh, compared to the witch farm walls. The Blaze one, one of my absolute favorites here. Not only the nether side, but also the overall, which I get to a little bit there. This was kind of a accident when we actually made this fit the Blaze. If you notice, if you look closely here compared to this one, you probably can't tell all too much, but I'll put the images up for this one here or for the Autocraft uh, V2. Uh, one here, you can kind of see that the fade is the exact same. So I was originally designing the walls to fit the autocraft, the new autocraft perimeter. And over when I was doing that, I then had the realization that this looks really good and matches the blaze farm floor that we already had made and it fit it perfectly. So I was like, let me try to put it on the blaze and see how look. And it turned out absolutely amazing. I was like, we don't even need any pillars in this thing. It looks good as it is. So we're definitely going to just keep this one as a very smooth and clean perimeter decoration. No pillars, nothing. It just looks perfect. So for me, this one got to be an S tier. It, it just fit too well for it not to be anything besides S. Um, everything just fits together perfectly with the, the red at the bottom of the whole perimeter and then the start of the fade at the red to the yellow to fit the blaze overall theme. It was just absolutely perfect. It has to be S tier. The Autocraft perimeter. This was of course before we had the AC logo for Autocraft where I had my double S first with these skills. Um, these pillars here definitely are a pain to make in survival, <laughs> but big thanks to Rubik's for grinding that out in SMP. Uh, from what I've heard from them, they were not the easiest things to do. And I think this one because of that with the fade and everything like that on top as well. I think I give it a solid B. It's definitely going to be a better than the main storage autocraft one. Just because I think the pillars and the top section for the roof 
uh, just adds a bit more to it. I do love the Fireheart that's inside the Autocraft V1. I think V2 overall is the best, uh, though, compared to V1. Something I do want to mention here, of course, we do have the Autocraft uh, website. So if you want to see any of these decorations, if you want to pick some up, they are all on sale for there for only a very small price of what I actually paid to either time that I actually spent making them, or of course that I paid the artist to actually make the floors on top of them as well. Autocraft's archive is officially live. It is mainly a collection of all of the perimeter decorations that are on Autocraft. So if you were ever interested in picking up one of these, now would be the best time to do so. Visit the website linked down below. Next, we have the Blaze Overworld Process Inside. This is the only one that I think I included uh, where we have the Overworld Process Inside just because of the way we actually did the decoration for this one. I think it turned out the best, not only the floor, but also the walls. Most of the walls that we have for the Overworld Process in ones are just black concrete uh, for the simplicity of making them. But this one with the yellow and black fits really, really well. I kind of theme it around when I first initially see it is like Electro Buzz from Pokemon, just because of the way the tail is shaped and like, you know, Pikachu and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's what I kind of think of when I first see it. Uh, definitely, I'm going to put this one in an A tier. I would say it's at the very bottom of A though. Overall, it looks pretty good. If you can't tell all too much, it's the same exact fade that we have for the blaze i call it the fire fade because it goes up and down like a like a thought like a flame uh it's just different colors of course for that so overall i do like it it's definitely one of the ones up there the airbase perimeter this is one of my favorite ones we've done just because of the way that it was kind of just thought up also of course the use case that we have for it where it automatically crafts pistons for us on the server that we use a bunch for bedrock breaking. Of course, with new breakers that recycle the pistons, we don't really need to use this all too often anymore. However, it was a huge uh, lifesaver when we were actually using breakers that did require the pistons as a one-time use. This decoration here, one of my favorite ones, because of all the cool stuff with the planes, the, the buildings, the uh you know the road for the, the the airstrip all that kind of stuff i love how that turned out um definitely gonna be up as i think i would even put it above spawn right in the middle of there it did look pretty well kind of underrated in my opinion from the video that was made on it however you know that's just what it is this guardian one though i was one of my favorite ones i've ever made uh, the wall decoration just fits so perfectly. I'm definitely putting that as my favorite one up there. Uh, it's above the tree just because I love how smooth and the color combinations of the guardian and the walls. It just fits all too perfectly for me. I wasn't the one I was like, you know, keen on actually making wall decoration for. However, with that orange stripe in the middle of all the little wall segments, I think turned out absolutely amazing and one of my favorite ones of all time. The magma cube one. I love how the floor turned out. This is where the actual inspiration for getting all the arts came from. So the drown was the first one I had made. The magma cube is one I saw actually on Twitter or X as you would call it nowadays. It was a very well done image. This is where the inspiration for everything kind of started for the floor arts of all of the different types of mobs that were in the sort of a Minecraft style, but also not. Uh, so the walls of this one though, I don't think are turned out too well. They're way too close together, and I don't think overall that those parts turned out too well. However, it's kind of an old decoration, because like I said, kind of shows its age there. I still would put it above the witch farm, because the floor is much better than that one there. Uh, but it's overall not up there all too much. The geode farm perimeter decoration, the RTR or the random tick range one, you can't really tell from this picture, but it's a random tick range. So it's about, it's like a octagon, but it's a lot more edges to it. I don't really know the shape to call it, which is why I'm just called the RTR, uh, but the weird shape that it is. Um, so overall, the purple and black color scheme though goes absolutely amazing. As you can see, we'll have a couple more later on the line here. Uh, for that, uh, turning out like that, I think I would put it slightly above the witch there too. Uh, 
that one turned out really well with the simple this three it was actually three colors in game it was black concrete purple concrete and i want to say purple concrete powder or magenta concrete um but overall i love how that area turned out for it being like very very simple and stuff like that the spider perimeter oh man this one is really really good the spider on the floor was the absolute best one i've ever received uh from the custom uh designer for the floors that spider for it being only a 256 scale looks absolutely amazing so i love how this one turned out i think i would put it in s for the very reason there the walls could be a little bit better i went simple and did a uh pixel art of you know spider webs or cobwebs for that i don't think it's the best thing in the world but the floor alone i think carries it up to s tier for me uh that's just it would be it would feel wrong to put that anything anything besides s for the floor decoration quality uh itself that spider looks absolutely amazing this one we haven't really uh shown off yet but if you are on the discord you will know that you know this one has been completed uh, for the most part, we're still working on the farm for this one, however, which is why you haven't seen it on the YouTube as of now. So if you do want to stay up to date and get ahead of the YouTube videos of what's actually going to be coming out, I would definitely join the Discord down below and get that AC project thing in the Reaction Roles channel. That way you got to get notified when projects are actually being completed before they go live on the YouTube when the video is actually made. So. Let me join the Discord down below if you wanted to see any behind the scenes stuff before it comes to YouTube. This one here actually came from an idea that Rubix, before they were on the server, suggested. They kind of had the idea of putting, why don't we put three Wither Skeletons around it because we need three Wither Skeleton heads to create the Wither, which of course is what we're going to be farming in that area uh, as well. And we have that with the Wither inside of the decoration there. Overall, I love the idea that they did. Uh, I wanted to have the artists actually take the idea that they had and make it even better. So uh, yeah, that was what they did. They made the, the deco in their own style, but still in a Minecrafty style, which is what all of them are supposed to do, of course. And I really like this one turned out. I love the little bone segments. I'm gonna show a picture uh, in the wall for the pillars. Those ones turned out really good there. I like that a lot. It's gonna be a solid B. I would put it uh, right above an MSV1. I definitely think that it's decent. I think the walls could be a bit better with the space in between. Uh, but overall, I do like this one. Uh, you know, it's definitely a step up from what we had previously. The squid farm perimeter definitely is going to be up there as well. I think I'm going to give it an A, but a very low A. The floor uh, I definitely love how that turned out because I added the coral. I requested the coral to be the background of the the mobs. Even though glow squids, I know can't really spawn in coral reefs all too much. I don't think squids actually spawn there either. But add a bit more color to the background. I think the coral reef was like the absolute best thing I could have added. So it adds just those extra sparks of color that otherwise would be missing in the ocean, as you can see from the guardian one even though that one's like you know top of s for me uh it definitely could have used a little bit more in the background around the monument in both the elder guardian and the main guardian there so maybe adding some coral reef in that background would have looked even better uh, but you really don't often see you know monuments in a warm ocean biome but overall the squid one i love how the glow squid turned out and the googly eyes on the squid uh, one of my favorite additions that i added to a decoration there request general mob farm uh, I think I would give this, I want to say it's not too high. Um, the floor turned out really good. I love how that turned out. I think my wall decoration choice here wasn't the best. It was very, very simple. I really didn't know what to do with this wall decoration because you have four mobs that theme it around. So I kind of want the colors of it being, you know, the orange and black as the main uh, colors in the floor there. I kind of just took those colors and went with it for the walls uh, just because it fit a lot better than, you know, anything I can really think about there. So I'm going to give this one a solid B. I think it's better than Magma Cube uh, ever so slightly, but it's not much better. 
stick the head is saying because of the walls. The floors with these two are absolutely amazing, but the wall decoration I think kind of lets it down just ever so slightly uh, for that very reason there. I'm going to put it in the mid B. Next, we have the upcoming ones that aren't really done yet besides the snow one, which you would have course seen. So because of that, I'm going to actually rate this one now. Uh, this one, I think, goes right below the uh, one for the ice farm, just because it's the same concept in a sense with, you know, the characters from Frozen. They fit really well. Of course, this one is our snow farm perimeter. So old off being a snowman fits very well and sort of uh, everything all there kind of matches that snow theme. It's very similar to ice, but overall, I really like how that one turned out for how simple the floors are for both of those. So yeah, the only one that's unreleased that we have put up here so far is that for the skeleton one. Everything else has already have a video made and everything like that's all dusted on the YouTubes. These last five here are ones that are unreleased because the projects are still in the making for the most part. This one here is for our wool farm uh, area. So we have, of course, all the colors, the main colors of the rainbow from red to pink uh, and the floor being the black, gray and white down there. Overall, I think I actually like this one pretty uh, a lot, especially with shaders. Of course, I've really taken shaders into account all too much with these ones. If shaders are involved, a majority of these are actually pretty high, but I'm taking them from their vanilla looks uh, for the most part here, just because the fact that most people actually play with, you know, without shaders because it's very demanding on the graphics card. This one here, I think it's going to be around the lazy rate because it kind of has the same concept there with the the colors cycling. Uh, I think it's like a little bit better than Lazy Ray just because the different shapes uh, compared to just the, the fade itself there. And the one's pretty out there. This slime one that we're going to have upcoming is going to look absolutely amazing. So this one is going to be S tier for sure. I, I love how this, you know, sort of sort of toxic uh, color scheme here with like, you know, the slime and then all the, the lime and black fit very well. Uh, it is definitely a huge, huge, huge step up from old slime, 100%. You know, going from that to this for slime, it's night and day of which one you would prefer. I mean, obviously building this one's going to be a lot more pain than that one down the bottom there. However, it's definitely worth it with how amazing that slime looks as well as the walls and things like that there. Hogland one, however, I love the walls of this one, unironically. However, the floor... Definitely could have turned out a little bit better. Of course, you could see that on the big screen uh, here. Uh, overall, I think it needs to be like a 512 scale for that hogland to look a little bit better and not too pixelated in a sense. So for that, I'm going to put it at the very top of C. Um, the walls look pretty decent for me. It's just the floor that kind of puts me off the hogland. I don't think the artists know the shape of the hogland all too much, which is why I'm going to be putting it down there. Uh, if that hog was a little bit better, you know, I think I'm getting a little bit too harsh. I think I'm going to put it right below magma. It's kind of like the reverse of magma, right? It has the magma has the good floor, but the bad walls. Hogman has the good walls, but the bad floor. So I think that was a pretty good spot to put them both in right there. So this one is our new shulker factory. The old shulker factory really isn't I don't too much special, so I didn't really include that in here. With a lot of the other small um stuff for that you know the small projects where we have you know the piston factories the deep slate factory all that kind of stuff i really didn't include that's not on the scale that i wanted it to be portrayed on because these are all uh, rather large perimeters besides the walls the only other small one that we have here the shulker one absolutely love it it's definitely going to be an s for me uh that thing just looks absolutely amazing uh the fade on a circle like i said before looks really good but and black and magenta one of my other favorite color combinations like ever to exist uh it just looks so good especially with the floor we can like the razor blades and things like that 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 sort of pattern that i found for the floor fits perfectly for this area and our last but not least the new uh puffer fish that we just kind of recently completed time to get this video here this guy looks absolutely amazing uh of course different from our usual you know sort of project style however i do really like how it turned out just because it was a unique thing that we did and 
the farm we're going to put inside of it, if you couldn't guess, is going to be a fish farm. So it kind of fits the theme there with that little guy. So I think I would put this one uh, around the middle A tier. I would say around this one, just because of the black concrete walls. I'm going to put it actually at the bottom of A tier. Uh, just because overall the walls obviously but it's so difficult to do a design like that for the walls to fit the the floor but i take away from the floor because obviously the main the floor is the main sort of uh style for that and if you haven't guessed it we're going to be thinking this shape out all the way down to bedrock uh, in the middle of an ocean which is what you can kind of see in the background here that's where it was of course with the fit the fish we need to actually do that so yeah i think that's actually everything we have so far I don't think I'm going to change anything for this. So definitely be sure to leave a comment down below. If you want to join the Discord, I will make a channel in the Discord for your tier list if you wanted to submit those. That way, you know, I can kind of sort of compare and see where you're coming from with your own tier list here. Definitely like to see what your ideas are and what your, uh, what your order would be in terms of decorations here. So. Definitely use that link down below. That way you can also create your own tier list and let me know what you think. If you don't want to do that, let me know in the comments down below. That would be perfectly good as well, whether you disagree or agree with what I have here. Also, let me know how you like this, this content here. I definitely, not really usually don't do, but I saw the idea and I think I really had to do it. It is such a cool concept for me with how much stuff that we've done on the server decoration wise. I think we definitely needed to do that for sure so we may do this again that'll all be down to you guys what you guys think so make sure you like subscribe all sorts of things and i'll see you in the next one